19 years ago, That's So Raven was the iconic show which graced television screens across the world. Ever since then, it's given fans the perfect blend of fun, silliness, comedy, and pure sass. And let's not forget Raven's early 2000s hook line of Ya Nasty while we're at it. I'm your host, Michaela. Let's get into it. Taking our 10th spot is Raven Simone. Of course, our countdown starts off with the star of the show. Raven has been shining on Disney ever since the first episode of TSR aired, and the same can be said for the spin off as she visioned her way on our TVs again for Raven's Home. Both shows have performed incredibly well during their respective times, with the latter running its course for a full five seasons currently. Not to mention, Raven is definitely a queen of Disney, as she was also a part of the widely successful teen franchise, The Cheetah Girls. Her life also formerly consisted of being a co host for ABC's The View. In other news, Raven recently dished about a potential Cheetah Girls reunion, which we are all very much here for. And here's what she said it'll take to officially get her on board. Talking about another possible movie in the future, Raven detailed that it naturally has to include her original co stars and other CG members, Adrian Ballon Halton, Sabrina Bryan, and Keely Williams. This is even despite the fact that Raven was left out of their third movie despite starring in the first two, and Adrian and Keely engaging in a bit of a fallout from their real life girl group, 3LW, in the early 2000s. Raven played as their mediator at the time, and in 2020, she managed to make amends with Keely herself. For a bit more detail about the hopeful reunion though, Raven alluded to E! News that her close friend Adrian would need to be there in order for Raven to even consider it. The pair most recently reunited on the set of Raven's Home due to Adrian reprising her TSR role of Alana through multiple season 5 episodes. Raven and Adrian also separately competed together in The Masked Singer's second season back in 2019. Now, before we jump into number 9, comment below your favorite That's So Raven star. Taking our 9th spot is Kyle Massey. Who could forget Raven's annoyingly funny younger brother, Corey Baxter? Exactly. If you're like me, meaning you have a younger brother as well, then you must know that Kyle played his role to a T, because sometimes I wanted to pull my hair out because of him. Kyle was fortunate enough to receive his own spin off prior to Raven's Home, titled Corey in the House, but the show was short lived with cancellation after a single year. It still served as a fan favorite though, due to the comedic aspect and overall fun. More so, Kyle's time with Disney didn't just dry up here because he went on to release several rapping songs under the company afterward. Kyle was also awarded as Dancing with the Stars' 11th season runner up alongside his partner Lacey Schwimmer. Currently, the star has been maintaining a low profile because of a 2021 lawsuit in which Kyle was tried and charged with one count of immoral communication with a minor, according to Washington documents. According to reports, he's currently a California Creators Institute staff, which hosts a group of top content creators and influencers as per the organization's site. Taking our 8th spot is Annalise Vanderpool. Of course, That's So Raven wouldn't be exactly that without Raven's right hand gal Chelsea. The Ray and Chelsea duo were not only iconic, but simply loved by fans everywhere. It's a plus that Annalise was one of the few original TSR actors to make their comeback for Raven's home. As another huge factor of Disney's channel in their early 2000 days, Annalise was also included in their circle of stars to record mainly pop renditions of classic Disney hits like The Lion King's Circle of Life. Despite their not being many updates on Annalise at the moment, she most recently made a starring appearance as Beauty and the Beast's Belle on Broadway. Taking our 7th spot is Orlando Brown. Like Kyle, Orlando's more recent events measure up to mass disappointment. However, before this, Orlando was making young brown guys all over the globe proud with his full of life character Eddie, also known as Raven's other bestie on TSR. Nowadays though, Orlando is simply referred to as a ex-Disney star due to his series of high profile arrests. In 2014, he threatened a woman and her daughter that he would end their lives. In 2016, he was detained on charges of domestic battery for putting his hands on his girlfriend. Then in 2018, we saw him locked up for hard substance possession. However, this time an odd but large neck tattoo of Raven was displayed in his mugshot. Orlando's most recent mugshot shows him flashing a grand smile after being handcuffed in Vegas on burglary charges, and that's just what we publicly know of. His Dr. Phil appearance after all this was a bit unsettling with his partially shaved 
eyebrows and snake eyes shaped contacts. Still, he tackled tough topics like him living on the streets, battling mental health issues, and fighting addiction during the visit. Here's to hoping Orlando's future starts to look up. Taking our sixth spot is Takia Crystal Kima. Takia portrayed Raven's mom, Tanya Baxter, in the series. And to say the least, her performance over the years was nothing short of great. So it definitely came as a shock to fans when Tanya didn't make any appearances in the show's final season. According to MTV reports at the time, Takia wasn't away at law school, but she actually left to take care of her grandmother who was suffering from Alzheimer's. Currently, Takia is an author and educator. Taking our fifth spot is Rondell Sheridan. The other half of Raven's parentals came from Rondell, who brought fans true joy through his hilarious portrayal of Victor Baxter in the series. Once TSR's run was completed, Rondell joined Kyle Massey to partake in Corey in the House, where his character was given a new position in the White House. As for Raven's home, Rondell only made a few brief appearances towards the latter half of its airing. He has, though, done some directing work in both television shows and movies. However, the majority of his energy and time has been channeled into his stand-up comedy occupation in Chicago. And let's be real, no one can blame him. Like Victor, Rondell is effortlessly funny. Taking our fourth spot is Jonathan McDaniel, who portrayed Raven's crush and eventual husband and father of her children, Devon Carter. Devon served as the early 2000s perfect Prince Charming on TSR, with his once kiddishly cute looks slowly maturing into major handsomeness and an even sweeter personality to match. The transition from Raven's crush to her boyfriend in TSR, and then as her husband in Raven's home was natural and fan favored, and Jonathan still makes occasional appearances in the latter. Jonathan was also featured on BET's sports drama Hit the Floor in the mid 2000s. Off screen and similar to Raven, Jonathan is married to his wife and they share two kids. Jonathan also signed himself to a London based record label prior, where he dropped three whole albums so far. Taking our third spot is Sydney Park. Sydney was hired on TSR to play a Girl Scout of the same name, ironically, whom Raven mentors in three episodes between 2006 to 2007. When the pair first meet, Sydney hurls constant insults at Raven to embarrass her. As a starring actress, Sydney remembers booking her Disney role as one of her first when she got to Hollywood. Despite Sydney's role being brief, it's still one of her most recognized to date. Sydney once informed Shadow and Act that I get recognized all the time for my role in that. So Raven. I always joke I'll be 80 years old and people will still stop me to say, hey, are you that little girl from That's So Raven? Even though Sydney once agreed that joining Raven's home would be a dream, it seems she had too much on her plate to feed into the nostalgia. Years following her time on the show, Sydney moved on to a lot of different successors, including Entourage, Sons of Tuscans, Nickelodeon's The Thundermans, Bella and the Bulldogs, and Nikki Ricky, Dickie and Dawn, YouTube Red's Lifeline, Netflix's Santa Clarita Diet, and Spirit Riding Free, There's Someone Inside Your House, Moxie, and most recently and popularly, Pretty Little Liars, The Perfectionist, and AMC's The Walking Dead. Taking our second spot is David Henry. David acted as Corey's best friend Larry on the show, and he's had quite the career journey since being the boy who wore the same sweatshirt for two weeks straight. Since his time on TSR, David has also mainly starred in Wizards of Waverly Place and How I Met Your Mother, amongst a slew of other successors. He also tried his hand at directing, too. In 2018, David was detained at LAX airport due to his possession of a loaded firearm. However, he did eventually walk away scot-free in what was said to be an accidental incident. As of now, he most recently hinted at a potential Wizards reboot. David and Selena still maintain a pretty tight friendship, and the actress even 100% agreed to another version, with David adding that they've already conceptualized their ideas thoroughly. Taking our first spot is Bobby J. Thompson. Bobby starred in That's So Raven as the mischievous young boy Stanley, who also made guest appearances on Corey in the House during his time on Disney. Stanley's TSR stint was for 10 episodes between 2004 to 2006, being Eddie's troublesome next door neighbor with quite an obsession with Raven. Since this, Bobby has made a number of appearances in shows and films like Just Jordan, 30 Rock, My Baby's Daddy, Cellular, Snow, Full Clip, Fred Claus, Of Boys and Men, Land of the Lost, Imagine That, School Dance, Me and Earl and the Dying Girl, A Rich Christmas, Miracles Across 125th Street, and A Family's Fury between 2007 to 2021. 
one. Back in 2009, Bobby hosted his very own Cartoon Network live action TV series called Bobby Says. After a single season, the show was cancelled because of low ratings and negative reviews. However, in 2018, we got to see Bobby on screen again as he joined MTV slash VH1's improv and sketch comedy game show while and Out. Bobby was a recurring cast member for the show from season 11 to 15, starring in 14 episodes for his first season, 11 in the 12th, 10 in the 13th, 19 in the 14th, and 24 episodes in his final airing on the series. That's been today's WA10. Thanks for watching, friends.